What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Spartan Mining YouTube channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at, at a different type of 1 to 4 way splitter. It is the Adwit 1 to 4 time splitter and it comes with this little board. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Alright, so this Adwit 1 to 4 time uh, PCIe riser extender uh, that allows you to, to run four GPUs on one uh, PCIe lane. It's not your standard uh, four-way splitter. It only comes with the one-time slot right here that plugs directly into the uh, PCIe one lane or a full 16 lane with the one connection for the USB 3. And then the board has four connections where you plug in the mini uh, PCIe ones. Each one's got its own capacitor and such and then it's just got the one connection point right here that plugs into here. So you can see here it's got two forms of power or three forms. You can either use Molex, SATA, or you can run a six times pin into it. So uh, it comes with a Molex to SATA already and then it comes with some hardware mounting and then it comes with a USB cable. So the plan is I'm going to open the tin up and put this on the Gigabyte Z270 PD3 board and see if it will run more than seven cards with this board. So I don't know if it can be done. I haven't tried it. So that's going to be the plan. I'll get the 10 open, put it in there. And then I will plug in the MSI RX570 Gaming X 8 gig that I have and to see if I can make that seven card 580 rig into an eight card rig. So stick around. I will show you um, what it looks like whenever it's put into the, into the tent, you can see the, you know, the little expansion part. It's not going to be exciting, but I'll show you. So yeah, stay tuned. Alright guys, so I got the tent open. One of the things I forgot to mention that I did was I got some uh, 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. It was like a dollar forty-eight for 10 feet. So I got two sections of it. I got it cut into 4 foot sections, but I got to trim a little bit so I can have it uh, to where it will actually fit inside of the tent. But for now, I just got little 90 degree angles on it. I only have... Uh, three supports but I got the back support there to kind of prevent it from sucking in as much and then I got it coming down at the angle right here and then I'll just have it zip tied and then the same on that side just to prevent the tent from uh, you know trying to suck in on itself but now to the the portion of where we're going to try to mount this uh, PCIe uh, splitter so I think the plan is going to be just to have it sitting somewhere you know right here nothing you know super fancy just somewhere either right here or back there in that little spot and then gonna remove that six pin that's powering this riser to power the other GPU and then just run a SATA connection um, a SATA to six pin from that to power the riser there as well as the other one so yeah I'm gonna get to working on it and then I'll see you guys back here in a minute Alright guys, so after some trial and error, trying to uh, plug that in with the Molex and also the 6-pin, uh, it didn't work, so I gave up on it for a while, swapped out the USB cable, and then also uh, plugged it in through the SATA power, and it works and it powers on. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cards on the Z270 D3 board from Gigabyte. So, yes, that board can run more than seven cards. And we're going to swap over to the Simple Mounting Dashboard and uh, see how it's doing. Now, I'm not going to be leaving the setup looking like this for, you know, a while. But for now, just to get everything up and running and testing, it's working. All the cards are there. So, we're going to swap over to the Simple Mounting Dashboard and take a look. Alright guys, so we're on the Simple Mining Dashboard and you can see right here the Spartan 580 rig now has 8 cards on it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 One of them is a RX 570 from MSI It is the Gaming X 8 gig model They are all pulling at least 30 mega hash and then GPU 6 SMK2 armor from MSI pulling 31.46 So the cards are running nice and well it took me a little bit to get everything situated. I had to take a very break from it because I couldn't figure out what the issue actually was. And uh, it was, I had to run SATA power to it instead of running the Molex or the six pin. So we got it situated 
and you can see that you can run more than seven cards on the Gigabyte Z270 PD3 board. So this is the splitter that I purchased. See right here, I will put a link for this down below if you guys want to try them out yourself. Um, like I said, I had to run the SATA connection. I didn't go from SATA to Molex. I went just straight SATA. And it is working. I have two of the slots filled up, obviously. And I'm going to uh, eventually, once I get more cards in, add more cards to it and see if I can get it up to 12 or 13. But that is the, uh, the adapter that I got. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the motherboard. All right, so here is the motherboard. You can see uh, it is on sale with Prime at $69.99, and it will run six cards pretty much out of the box. To run the seventh for the N.2, you have to do the BIOS update. Uh, there have been some issues. People have said that there are issues trying to get the, the BIOS to update. However, I do have two of these boards, and I have not had any issues with it. And I have the N.2 slot working as well as I have the splitter working on it. So I have eight cards running on this board and uh, you can get it for $69.99 with Prime and you can get it by Friday. I'll put a link for this also down below if you guys wanna check that out. But that's gonna wrap this video up. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as something comes out. And I will put the links for the Discord, the Reddit, and the Facebook down below so you guys can go hit those things up as well. Don't forget Free Hash Friday coming up this Friday. And until the next one, guys, peace.